Another day, another victory. Long now till we're through the strait. <laughs> what the? Who's that rattling around in my cargo bay? Would you be a sweetie and go check? all right in here. I brought the whole gang just in case. Huh? Eric? Honey, is it really you? You're alive, laddie. I knew you would be. Oh, this is the best news we've had in a while. You can say that again. It's wonderful to have you back, isn't it? I'm sorry. I hadn't eaten anything for three days, and I saw you loading this boat with food, and and I just couldn't help myself. Uh, are you okay, honey? Something is not right. Is this really your former companion? 
You... You said Eric, right? I I'm pretty sure that's my name, but... Do I know you or something? Don't you remember us, laddie? You're all partners in crime. I I'm sorry. I don't remember anything. I woke up and, and everything was dark and... I had no idea who I was. Or I remember my name. And I know there's something important I have to do. But apart from that... <sighs> Look, I know I have no right to ask you this, but... Could I tag along with you guys for a while? If you know who I am, it might help me to remember something. I promise I'll pay you back for the food I took. I'll swab the decks, clean the dishes, anything. Now, now, there'll be no need for that, laddie. You stick with us. I'm sure your memory will be back soon enough. What do you say, darling? Shall we forgive our little stowaway and welcome him back with open arms? Thank you so much. I promise I won't get in your way. You won't regret this. Gain some manners. I wish Veronica were here to see this. She'd die. ends well.
Stay down. at all.
triumph was never in doubt. So the rumors were true. Erdwin's lantern descends towards Colopolis. <sighs> and they say it began when Yggdrasil fell and darkness covered the land. But why? What is happening to our world? Edwin's lantern, eh? Back in Dundrasil, we had a legend that after Edwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star, so he could watch over Erdria for all eternity. favorite stories. And I always thought it was just that. A story. But now I'm not so sure. I mean, if the Lord of Shadows rise caused Erdwin's lantern to descend... <sighs> Are you even listening, laddie? Oh, charming. Well, I can share my musings with you again if you'd like. <sighs> Back in Dundrasil, we had a legend that after Erdwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star, so that he could watch over Erdria for all eternity. It was one of your mother's favorite stories. And I always thought it was just that, a story. But now I'm not so sure. It does seem that the Lord of Shadows' rise has caused Erdwin's lantern to descend after all. Well, I suppose this is no time to be standing around pontificating. The lantern's on course to crash straight into this fair kingdom. We'd best go and see what the Sultan thinks of all this, eh?
My boy, please! Your reckless heroics will get you killed! Fear not, father! I will take all necessary precautions! By the time I return, the mystery of the star will be solved and Galopolis will be saved! Once again, for all you did for my son, I... What in the name of the... Surely this cannot be! Uh, 
It's been a while, eh, Your Majesty? Years, in fact. I haven't seen you since the colloquy of kings and the disaster that followed. Lord Robert, please, you must listen. What we were told about the Luminary was false. He is not the spawn of the darkness after all. Alas, we were all deceived by King Carnelian. We allowed the world to be destroyed. We brought this disaster upon ourselves. Oh, come on, your majesty. We can hardly be blamed. This is Mordigan's doing. He's the one who possessed King Carnelian and caused all this chaos. This is down to him and no one else. Lord Robert. Now, listen. We need to talk about that star. If Erdwin's lantern falls much further, Galopolis is done for. What do you know about it? Sadly, very little. I have tasked my finest scholars with investigating its origins, but they have discovered nothing. Uh, there is one thing that may be of interest. My son Faris claims to have been able to make out runes on the surface of the barrier that surrounds the star. Runes, eh? This is the first I've heard of a barrier surrounding the lantern, let alone anything being written on it. Was your lad sure of this? He certainly appeared to be. In fact, he has taken one of our most learned scholars to the Celestial Sands in order to investigate the ruins more closely. It is there that we believe the star will make its landing. I see. I reckon we'd better go and take a good look at these runes ourselves, eh? Shall we head out after the prince? It would put my mind at ease if you would, Lord Robert. I cannot help but worry about him being abroad in such dangerous circumstances. Ah. Hmm. You have my thanks. I will instruct the guards to permit you passage through the checkpoint. Journey safely. Victory is ours. Diligence is its own reward.
lay down. as well. No, 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 no. You agreed to do this. Come. We must move closer. We cannot hope to read the runes from here. But, Your Highness, I am sorry. It is too dangerous. I am afraid I must refuse. Do you have a means of deciphering the symbols without entering the celestial sands? Well, no, but... Oh, Creasy Poo. Hello, darling. Long time no see. Sylvando. Uh, what an... <laughs> Unexpected pleasure. The Sultan said you were out here in the scary sands trying to read runes of a falling star. Huh. Guess you grew up to be quite the brave boy. Hmm. Ah, I am simply doing my duty to my people. But what about you? <laughs> what brings you to the sands? The same thing as you, Your Highness. We have come to investigate Erdwin's lantern. Sir Hendrik? The Sir Hendrik? Ah, oh, the hero of Heliodor here in my kingdom! You know who I am, Your Highness? But of course! You are my hero! You are every aspiring knight's hero! To serve under your command is my life's ambition! I am honored, Your Highness. The courage you have shown in venturing out here suggests that you would make a fine knight, wherever or whomever you serve. Truly, you have no idea how much your words mean to me. Oh, thank you, from the bottom of my heart. 
Sorry to butt in, your highness, but might I ask how your investigations are going? You were looking a wee bit frustrated back there when we arrived. Indeed I was, old man. That fool of a scholar is too frightened to accompany me any further into the sands. I am not one for learning. The symbols will mean nothing to me, which leaves me in quite a predicament. Well, I think I might be able to help out there, if you'll allow me. You are some manner of wizened ancient? Excellent! I would be very much obliged. The ruins can be best seen from the ruins in the center of the sands. Meet me there! ends well.
kidnapped, Principal. And there was me thinking you'd come to investigate the lantern. Oh, truly, it is even more magnificent when one lies directly beneath it. How many can say that they have seen such glories up close? You're a special one, darling. Don't go changing, hmm? What are these ruins, anyway? And how come they're out here all on their own in the middle of the desert? Huh? Oh, they have been here forever. Since the age of our grandfather's grandfathers. Or some such nonsense. for something very important. I just know it. <gasps> Ooh! Maybe some kind of stage! <gasps> what a place to perform! Can you imagine? about the runes, your highness. I can definitely see some on the side of the lantern. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Are you okay, honey? You were talking to yourself, and we all know what that means. Now, none 
one shall challenge me. This world is mine, and mine alone! Was that... the Sword of Shadows? The Lantern. It has disappeared. The star was named for Erdwin, but... can such an ominous phenomenon truly be the work of heroes? Was the foul creature wielding the sword not... Uh, that was no foul creature, Sir Hendrik. That was the savior of Galopolis. He spared us all from the falling star. Hmm. The kingdom is saved. My people will surely thank me when I bring them the good tidings. I must return to the city and spread the news. Come and find me at the palace if you need me. <laughs> yes! Calasmus. <sighs> hmm. hmm. What could that mean? Hmm, why don't we go ask the Sultan? It's his kingdom, maybe he knows something. Ah. Hmm. hmm. Another day, another victory!
victory is ours. It is a relief to see you safe, my friends. When the star shattered, I could not help but fear the worst. Faris has explained all that came to pass out upon the sands. It seems a savior appeared and destroyed the lantern before it could lay waste to my kingdom. Though, I wouldn't go calling him your saviour just yet. Anyway, never mind that now. There's something I want to ask you, Your Majesty. The runes on the barrier around the star, they spelled out a word. Chalasmus. Does that mean anything to you? Not. Well, if it was written on the side of a star, you can bet it means something. Something important. Hmm. Yeah, but we can't go letting it distract us too much. Mordigan's not going to defeat himself. We've work to be getting on with. Lord Robert, your quest to defeat the Lord of Shadows is a noble one. The people of Galopolis will be praying for your success. Yes, and if there is ever anything you require, you need only ask. After all, I still owe you a favor. <laughs> 